scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. Now, I've reviewed Series 2, Episode 1, Scimitar. It rocked. It was nicely thought out, someone was missing, and we're now on the search for Dana. Fortuitas, for that is what Story 2 of Series 2 is called, is a quirky little number, and perhaps would have benefited from the addition of Blake. But that's a fairly obvious thing to say because also it's not particularly true. It deals primarily, from a listener's point of view, with what happens to people struggling on a planet without a figurehead like Blake. How other people's rebellion looks. And that's nice. Yes, you've got the hook of the search for Dana, but that just takes it to, well, a tourist trap. In fact, let's read the synopsis. The search for Dana takes the Liberator to Solace, a former galactic tourist trap that's fallen on hard times. When he loses a second member of his crew, Avon is forced to investigate a series of mysterious disappearances as Aurak and Del Grant track a radical new movement that's campaigning for the purity of Solace. A deadly trap begins to tighten. The future is fortuitous. The future is now. The whole concept of who's a good guy and who's a bad guy in Blake 7 was kind of, well, it glossed over me when I was a kid. Because they're the main characters, you just assume that they're the good guys. And it's not until this rewatch and this experience of these new episodes of Blake 7, well, they're new to me, that I've begun to see the, the much greater depth of the characters and the greater depth of the narrative as well. People aren't just fighting. They have a definite point of view. And they have to deal with the aftermath and the consequences of what they do. Yes, everyone wants Blake. Everyone wants the Liberator in order to try and get, well, to become their ace in their pocket, to get their point across. But one ship versus a whole ideology and a framework, that's going to take a lot of battling. So it's nice to see something like that here. George Mann has written a particularly good script. The characterisation is easy, but it's not obvious things work here and they work here on an extremely good level so yes fortuitous reminded me in many respects of my own hometown well of whitley bay which was pretty close to where i grew up where a lot of my friends were from a small run-down coastal place that had seen better days and had closed amusement parks where kids would hang around and it would all be just a tiny bit scary Yes, it is a bit scooby-doo to say that it's the fallen down amusement park, but you know what? I can live with that. A particularly good cast producing a particularly good set of audios. Yes, Fortuitous is a mid-season episode. It's not a series opener or a season closer, but that doesn't make it any less important. So another sterling effort from Big Finish as we crash on through the rest of Series 2. And then I'll go back and start series one, and I'll do that in order. So until next time, when I'll probably be talking about Doctor Who, or perhaps Blake Seven, be seeing you. Welcome, followers of Fortuitas. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Taron, watch your back. You've been asking questions, haven't you? Sounds as if that's going to be easier said than done. Questions that Fortuitas would rather leave unanswered. Now is the time to act. Can you hear me? Now is the time to build a new destiny. Get back! One that will last. Get off me! One that will prosper. One that will make our planet great again. Blake would have loved it here. The new bunch of extremists to rally against. Kerr Avon, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. My friends, I give you the future. I give you... 
Fortuitas! Your friend, Dana, I understand you're looking for her. Blake Seven, Fortuitas. It looks to me as if she's found us. Big finish. We love stories. I have a bad feeling about this, Avon. Now you're starting to sound like Villa. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Available on RSS, iTunes, Stitcher, Audioboom and Tumblr. Doctor Who and its associated works are copyright of the BBC. No infringement is intended. You can contact the show, donate, buy merchandise or find out more about my other projects by visiting the Tin Dog Podcast homepage and clicking on the links. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. (laughs) 